Welcome everybody to Rewinds the Times, 90s and 80s. This is episode number five. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my WWE uh, universe, and I'm going to talk about my uh, a sneak peek of my origins line too. Um, <clears throat> I'm a been, I've been a big He-Man collector uh, my whole life. Actually, He-Man is my favorite line to collect. I love the 5.5 figures. Um, uh, also, a big wrestling fan. Uh, more of the wrestling back in the day of the WWF. That's really what I like. I'm not a big fan of the WWE uh, name. Just doesn't ring a bell to me. Um, so when WWE, so when Mattel said they were coming out with uh, WWE and He-Man figures, man, I was online for it. Was super excited for it. And I've been pretty much collecting them each as they come out. Um, some I've had to get on eBay, but some I've just been fortunate to just no good people so when they come in their store they'll put them aside for me uh, my girlfriend's got me a couple um, and uh, myself just going to the stores and getting them so today I got two more figures in I got from wave 5 which is weird because then we have like wave 6 or something came up before wave 5 uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Roddy Piper um, don't worry Chris I, uh, well, as soon as I see him he's gonna be yours Roddy Piper I know yeah that's Chris uh, see this big and this is his favorite wrestling uh, if I wrestle from the 80s, uh, he's got an awesome channel too, guys. Uh, it's crap from the 80s. If you guys get an opportunity to watch, uh, man, just it's like walking down the yellow brick road of nostalgic stuff. Great channel. Um, so if you guys get a chance, check that out too. Uh, and Chris is a good guy too. Um, so today I just want to kind of go over my figures and show you my collection. Okay, the two new figures I got in today are Roddy Piper who in the comic book it says that he's a bad guy so if you look at the symbol on his shirt sorry about a glare sorry about the glare there guys I gave him the, the slashes uh, the two slashes because it does say that he is a bad guy um, love Roddy Piper um, love love all the guys from the you know from the 80s day of of WWF wrestling uh, and he's he might be the best promo talker of all time uh, I definitely say him and Ric Flair are up there Roddy had such an intensity in the way he talked, and uh, he, I'd say he's like the, the ultimate bad guy too. I mean, this guy was just I mean, hell of a, I mean, hell, hell of a wrestler, but he's most most known for his speaking. Um, and the other guy I got in today was Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, um, who is a mock-up of who is a makeup of um, the old uh, Skeletor Blaster um, Blaster figure. Um, Dragon Blaster, I'm sorry, Dragon Blaster figure. I had to think for a second. Um, good. I, I mean, the the colors on him are, are so vibrant. I mean, it's a be it's a beautiful figure. The only thing I don't like about it is is the dragon's amazing looking. Uh, very, the, the orange on him, as you can see, is so vibrant. It sticks out so much. I mean, awesome, awesome figure. But the thing I don't like about it is is the old, the old Dragon Blaster uh, toy that. A Skeletor has it sits on him it sits on his back and it kind of like locks in this one doesn't do that it just sits on him and the weight because the dragon does have weight it pulls him back so I mean I can get him to sit on to kind of like rest on him uh, but what I don't like is is you know if I'm I work third shift let's say I'm working or something and it just leans over it's gonna knock over the rest of my toys so that's what I don't like uh, but besides that, I mean, the figure is amazing. So I kind of put it in front of him like a pet. Um, this is what I was. This is what I was thinking it was gonna do. Here is my classic dragon blaster, and that sits on him. So that's the figure it's supposed to be, and that's what I thought it was gonna do. So a little disappointed with that, but that's uh. But you know, but that that's okay. Uh, so back looking back at the collection. Uh, actually, I'm gonna start over here real quick. Uh, these are my these are my original snake men. Uh, you know, um, I just got um, uh, I just got King Hissin and Ratlor and Tongue Lasher, Blast Attack, uh, the Jake the Snake because he is like a Snake Man. I, that's why I put him in there. It just kind of made sense to do that. Um, so I I love that figure. So going back over here, you've got the Von Strowman who's supposed to be Beast Man, uh, the many, the New Day who's supposed to be the many faces, which I love that. Love that uh, concept of you know changing the, the head around. You know, it's good to, get to get each three of the characters: Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. And then you got Skagel's version, of, which is the Undertaker, Triple H, 
Finn Balor, uh, the Triple H over here, and his wife Stephanie, who is a new figure from Wave 5. And then you got Fisto, which is Roman Reigns, and Sting, which is Clawful. Um, the Rock, which they say is um, He Man, but I kind of look at John Cena as He Man too. And then there's actually an Ultimate Warrior that just came out that's like He Man too. So, uh, well, speaking of Ultimate Warrior, I mean, I guess you can all say that kind of like He Man ish, I guess. And then you have the Ram Man it's Goldberg, another Wave Five. This one is really cool. This is um. This is another one I like. This is uh, the big red machine who's supposed to be like Roboto. Dude, this, this concept is so cool. This is one of my favorite concepts. And I love the translucent fire, and bla like fire blast you can put on him. Really cool. Then you got Mr. T, who is Jitsu. Um, you can tell by like, you know, like, like his chest plate and everything. I love that he has Fisto hand and, and, and Jitsu's arm. Really cool. And you got... Rey Mysterio, who is Stratos. The Fiend, who is clearly Trap Draw, even is here. If you zoom in real quick, it's kind of got like the hook piece, which I think is so cool. Little, just awesome detail. Macho Man at Arms, which I really, really like. He's, he's a good guy, so if you noticed on his chest, I put it blank. Because if you see the plates over here, they show because it's battle damage. So I, so I figure since he's a good guy, I'll leave it clean. And then we'll go back over here real quick. Roddy is actually a bad guy, so I gave him the two slashes. So, so he's not clean. <laughs> and you have Seth freaking Rollins, who is Zodak. Love that figure. That's my son, my five-year-old, uh, Colson. That's his favorite wrestler. And then you have Stone Cold. Steve Austin, the rattlesnake, which I guess, actually, I don't know who he would be, <laughs> to be frankly honest, I don't know even know what the mock-up of, of, of who that is, if anybody can help me, or maybe put in, in down in the comments of who you think it might be, um, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure actually who he'd be, uh, he has like something wrong, something on his eyes, maybe, maybe Rattlor, because the rattlesnake, uh, I guess maybe yeah, maybe that, that's about a good as good as guess I'm gonna get I guess. But this is an awesome line, it really is. I love it. I've been collecting it since it came out. Uh, like I said, man, I some of these figures I do get right away um, at Walmart. Uh, most of the figures I get sometimes are just buddies that I work at Walmart or or Target, and they'll text me, and they'll be like, "Hey, Mike, I got this." You know, so I mean, I, I gotta really give a shout out to my friends. And I got to give a shout out to my girlfriend, who's got me some too. So, um, awesome, awesome collection. I really love this Motu's line. What I've been doing is, is because uh, I really love it, um, and I got I love things that are out of package, but I also love things that are in package. So I've been literally collecting and and, and, and keeping them in box, so over the so I can have these for my children when they get older. Not saying you don't know if they'll ever be worth anything, but. You never know. You never know. So. Hey right, guys. Well that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoy. And I hope anyone that's collecting this line is really enjoying it like I am. Um, it's an awesome, awesome line. So. Hey right, guys. Well I hope everyone's you know taking care of themselves in, in these tough times. Hope everyone's being safe. Um, and uh, you know, I hope everyone's uh, just uh, enjoying life the best they possibly can. Hey guys, listen, everyone take care, God bless, and I will be back in another week to do week uh, to do video number six. I appreciate the 10 subscribers. Thank you so much that who has subscribed and anyone that's comment. So God bless. Take care guys.